Hello everybody, my name is Erin Stevenson from LTYC and today I'm going to show you a fun activity that you can do right at home called Shadow Puppetry. Yes. All right, so the first thing that you're going to need is some translucent computer paper because we're going to need for light to be able to pass through this paper for our shadow puppetry. The tape needs to be transparent so that that thick scotch tape that you may have or some duct tape uh, won't obstruct the light. So make sure you have some clear tape so that we can see every fun thing that's going to happen behind this computer paper. So I taped them together and then I connected them to some chairs. You can use any chair you want but we wanna make sure that it's nice and sturdy so that it doesn't fall and interrupt those beautiful stories that our family members are gonna tell. All right, so I'm gonna take you backstage so, um, so I can show you some of the extra things that we have to enhance the storytelling that we're about to explore. So come backstage with me. All right, welcome backstage. <laughs> this is my roommate, Miss Rachel. Hi. She is also a educator. We're educators out here, man. Um, so here's some fun things that I have back here that you can include when telling your story. The first thing you're obviously going to need is some source of light. So we have two cell phones back here. We have my old cell phone that has a flashlight on it. And we have my roommate's cell phone. And we also have a flashlight. Yes, obsolete and ancient flashlights. <laughs> so another thing you probably notice is all this colorful plastic that I have back here. My roommate donated some of her plastic and I also have my plastic. Um, and the cool thing about this is these plastics with the color can do some very cool stuff to the effect of the screen to enhance your story. We also have a teddy bear and a handmade puppetry bird that you can also add in your story. So let's take it to the front of the screen. The lights are going to be off in the next few seconds and we're going to see how these colorful objects and flying birds and teddy bear can help tell your story. All right, welcome to the front. So we're going to explore with some of those items that I showed you backstage and see how we can use them in our story. Let's first explore with that bird. I'm sure it's pretty interesting. So I cut out the shape of a bird. So if you ever wanted any flying objects in your story, you can have those. I'm, I think I'm going to stop saying in your story because I've said it a lot. Clearly we're telling stories. Um, one cool thing is you can change the shape of your bird. The closer you hold any object to the light, the larger it becomes. And the further away it is from the light, the smaller it becomes. Let's go to the next object, the teddy bear. If you wanted to add some different characters in your story, if you or if you don't want to take the classic route of using your hands, you can actually use toys and teddy bears and Lego men. There's a variety of things you can use, whatever you can find in your house to play the characters um, in your story. <laughs> Ooh, look at my hand. That's actually really nice too. All right, let's get to those colorful Tupperware things. The bottles and the Tupperware. So here we have the pink bottle. And what my roommate, our puppeteer, is going to do, she is going to hold that pink bottle really close to the light. And when she does that, it changes the entire background of the screen. So you actually have like a new environment that the characters can live in. And even when you remove, because we have uh, two flashlights happening back here, if I remove this light, it enhances this background. And I mean, I, I don't know what that looks like, but it sure looks fun. Um, let's try another color. 
Maybe the purple. Another way to change the background. Whatever this looks like, whatever these objects can also inspire what story you're going to tell. Um, we can go to the green water bottle. Now, one cool thing about this water bottle is it's half empty. So you have two options. You can have a full green screen. And if I add some light here, it kind of dilutes it a little bit, the, the green. Take it away and you have a harsher green. But let's move it up to where the water is. And there we have this, I mean, that's... I don't know what you can tell. To me, it looks like an alien is lasering down. So if we have stories about aliens or abduction, get find you a, a green water bottle and, and put some water in it. Oh, there's the teddy bear going away. <laughs> Let's go to the glass of water. I don't really know how to explain this, but once again, it just looks really cool. And because the water isn't stiff, it kind of moves around and gives this wobbly thing that I, 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 it can literally inspire anything or enhance whatever you need it to enhance. I, I don't have any words for it. It just looks really cool. That's all I can say. Do we have any other objects back there? Yes. We have the blue Tupperware. Ah, yes, the blue Tupperware. And last but not, just another color change. Um, changing the intensity of that light by adding another light. Or you can take this light and zoom it in and do things with that as well. There's just a lot of options to um, surpass the traditional blah, 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 or the wolf. You know, we all learned that. So go ahead and search around and see if you can find anything to play with for your shadow puppetry. And in a few seconds, we're gonna talk about some cool stories that you can tell. Hey guys, so after you spend time collecting your materials and building your screen, you can take a few minutes to write down a script or write down ideas and topics of the stories that you wanna tell. What's one story that you think you could tell? Well, I was actually inspired by your, um, your, the green bottle that you had, um, when it had water in it, it kind of looked like an alien laser beam shooting down. Um, you know, like people say they were abducted by aliens. So in my head, that little teddy bear was being abducted by aliens and oh. being beamed up to the spaceship. Oh, that is a really cool story. I, I, I would probably tell a story of I don't know, that pink water bottle inspired me in a way to, I don't know, it kind of looked like, <laughs> what does it look like? I don't know. I thought it looked like an amoeba, especially yeah, looks, with a little dent in the It looks in the like water some bottle. chemistry biology stuff. Yeah, like, like something you'd see in a microscope. Yeah, something you would see in a, in a microscope. I don't know, maybe you can teach a biology lesson <laughs> or, I don't know, but there's a wide variety of things that you can do with shadow puppetries <laughs> and there's a wide variety of, of you know materials that you can use from plastic trash bags to water bottles to lego toys um um hampers like different shapes and you can really really like tell awesome stories maybe your best birthday wish or things you're going to do when it's time to get out of the house in this um era passes um so whatever whatever you feel inspired to do go out and do it gather your families gather your materials and, and take off and share some beautiful stories all right guys until next time i'm miss erin i miss rachel and yeah bye, bye. <laughs>